So that's that's my pool set up there. Um, it's just some perspex, some like five or six mil perspex. I made the the frame out of double it up in places, wing nuts and just easy stuff. An old cordless drill, 18 volt cordless drill motor. I think the cog that I used was scavenged off the motor as well. Um, the pulley wheels, the orange pulley wheels, they came from China. I bought a few of them for different things that I've been doing. Um, the ESC, which is uh, the speed controller. Um, that's just the typical RC components that you buy online. And this is the transmitter that came with the, the Dumbo RC. It's all very straightforward. So we had batteries, lots of LiPo batteries from an old, old quadcopter. So plenty of storage in there. They just Velcro in there. The weight of the camera helps to stabilise things itself. And I'm using a, a Fuji XT20 a camera. I also have a handheld stabiliser that could go on to the, tri the tripod mount. Not sure I want to risk it all over water, but uh, not certainly without a Dyneema rope. Braided rope's nice and fine. Um, it's a fine outer core, you don't get too much vibration off it. Uh, I think Dyneema would be better because it's low stretch and it's extremely strong, so you could probably get an awful lot more pressure on the rope to get it tighter, and that's important. This rope will take up to about a 560 pound pull or it's got 560 pound braking strain or thereabouts but um, it's only 6 mil um, but you can buy that in Dyneema but it's much much more expensive but it uh, might be worth it if you've got the right long run to do this is a Dumbo RC uh, radio control unit for toy cars or some, something very similar to that um, I think this was 20, 28, 29 pounds so it's very simple, you put your camera on the bottom of it and you move the trigger. There's always a slight judder as you start it up, but once you get it moving, it goes quite smoothly. I don't have a big area in my garden that I can show you this working, but it goes very fast. It, it does it does fairly move. But it's been uh, it's quite quite a different viewpoint and it lets you get above waterfalls and things like that where there's a lot of turbulence that maybe you couldn't get in with a drone um, you can shoot the camera directly down look into the water whatever there's many ways to use this but it's uh, also very useful in if you want to shoot between trees if you're shooting b-roll for a film or something like that or a, a, a video you're making you could it's a very cheap aerial camera system that could be stretched well above a gorge. I'd use Dyneema rope if I was um, going to be doing anything too serious with it. But uh, yeah, this all, all together cost me about, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 pounds to make. Quite a, quite a handy wee gadget for the occasional shot. 